We are going to do the presentation of the bride by Mr. Mazi. I'm going to ask you a question, Dr. Mazi. If you are the one doing it, I'm going to say I do. Uh, Mr. Mazi, before this congregation, are you the one who is giving your daughter his hand in marriage uh, to Kevin? May I please hear your response? I do. Uh, maybe, uh, You're going to say, I give you this ring, as a token of my ever-growing love, an unwavering faith for you, and I believe with all my heart that our love will last forever, in Jesus' name, Amen. I give you this ring, as a token of my ever-growing love and devotion to you. And I believe with all my heart that our love will last forever. In Jesus' name. Mr. Kevin Makubo, you may kiss your bride. There's this handsome guys, Bala Pambi. We're going to serve them Holy Communion. This is the first meal they are going to be eating together as a family. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, from verse 23 to verse 26, that when they partake of the bread and of the wine, they are recognizing the power of God's redemptive work. Through the life, the ministry, the death, and the resurrection of Christ. That together they are joined as to the promises of God through Christ. Their sins are forgiven. They have been granted newness of life. They are called the children of God in the family of God, the church. They are members of the body of Christ. As you partake of this Holy Communion, we are sealing your marriage to say all the blessings that come with the death and the resurrection of Christ must be your portion. I'm going to ask them, uh, Mr. GJ, at the back there, just place us uh, as we are going to be serving them communion. And then what we are going to do, I'm going to ask my bishop, as we serve them communion, uh, to come. He's going to do the pronouncement of the blessing upon uh, this wonderful couple. Amen. You can turn and face.
the two of you um, observed you, you know, as you were coming in and out, Kevin, out of my house. And one thing that I observed every Tuesday, every Tuesday without fail, whether Kevin is working somewhere, you'll make time that you devote and pray. It was done without fail. Continue because you have set a foundation. You have started a good thing. And it shouldn't be an end. Bibi, um, God loves you. God loves you. She loved, he loved you long before we knew you. And without him being the pillar of your, your, your home, your family, because now you are building your own family, you are building your own home, um, God must continue to be the foundation. Exactly the way that you know foundations are built, that must be God. And I, I thank you, yeah, for my, you know, my hugs now. I thank you, and I thank you, and I love you guys. I love you. That's my brother, you have grown to be a remarkable man, a man who's grounded, and a, a man who fears the Lord. Um, you've been a, a good example to us, the family, your peers, your nephews, your nieces, your cousins, even me. Myself. I'm inspired by you. I wish you and your bride well on your journey that you have chosen. And then I would advise you to put your trust in the Lord and always stay true to yourselves. God bless your union and bully. Welcome to Guamakubo. Wife. Ah. I said something to Utemba Uguti. Um, if it wasn't for Bully, um, I don't think I would get married. The reason I'm saying this is because she understands my flaws, but she doesn't amplify them. She covers them with love. I've seen how she loves me. There's so many things that I've always wanted in a woman, and I said, God, this is what I want. And to her, it was not like it's obvious. I had to dig deep inside of her heart. I had to look in her heart and how she just looks at me and how she just sees the world in me. And, and I'm not afraid to say, my love, we're going to do it. Not in our own strength, but in God's strength. Because uh, he's there for us. He's always been there for us. Even though there were so many bumpy rides, one thing I always say that to her, but no matter what, I'm going to stay. I'm going to love you even if I hate you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cherish you even if I see it's not easy to you to cherish you, and and it it doesn't come from my heart. It comes strictly from God. God said, "I'm giving you my daughter." He gave her so many gifts. You can see her; she's beautiful. Anyway, take care of her. And I said, God, help me to take care of her. Give me wisdom to be the husband for her. I will follow God as you follow me, and I will love you. 
and I also submit to you because many people say submit but the Bible says submit to each other and then love there's so many responsibilities that comes from me but I'm not afraid because God is with me so I'm grateful and to speak and to tell you all of this in front of friends and family um, God is good God is love and just keep God at the center of a relationship trust me things will work out well Amen I want to thank God for what he's done in my life. I think if he didn't change my life, he wouldn't have positioned me to be where I am today. So everything begins in Christ. If you want a quality life, it begins in him because my life prior was just confusion. It was a mess. But I thank God for saving me and making me his before he made me his. And I, I appreciate that so much. Um, to my parents, I don't want to cry. But I'm probably going to, when you guys compliment me, you're complimenting their work. And that's the work that they've done for, for so long. Um, many people see Bully as this person. When you see Bully, it's because of what my parents have done for me. They've given me the resources to be who I need to be today. And I'm grateful for that, Mom, Dad. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a great human being. And I'm great because... I stand on the shoulders of great parents, I believe. And I know many people wait, you know, for people to pass on before honor is given. So I want my parents to stand. And if you can help me to thank them and to honor them while they are still alive. Stand. I, I believe they deserve the standing ovation and more. And, you know, God give me the grace to honor them um, the way I would love to honor them. And I, now I have more parents. So may God give me the grace to honor them the way they deserve to be honored. Mama Baba, thank you for raising such a wonderful son and also for allowing me to be a part of your lives. Thank you so much. Can we, can we honor them as well? to my husband I, I wrote down something because it's it's this has always resonated to me throughout our relationship um, he's everything I need but nothing I could have prayed for and God had put so much that you know sometimes in this world you think you need this kind of a person you think uh -uh, and you try to pray prayers because of what you think you need but God will give you something that you didn't even think that you needed because where you are now is not where you're going. And I thank God for giving me someone who's so kind, someone who's so patient, someone who is the water to this raging fire of a human being that I am. Um, <laughs> um, I, I thank you for loving God, first of all, which you created a safe space for me to be able to walk with you because I trusted the fact that because you love God and you can stand in Christ on your own, then I can stand with you. I love you so, so much. You've been my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> he's always respected me. You know, he's always loved me. When I wanted to not necessarily walk away from the relationship, but when I am like, I give me two minutes, he says, no, we fix it now. And I've learned so much from you. You inspire me. I was 2% away from cum laude because this guy inspired me to push um, in academics and in loving the family. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs>